What great morning. Are you done, Mr. Max? Are you done, Mr. Max? Yes. Yes. Well, here is Mr. Max this morning. Yum, yum, yum. Was that good? No, oh, yeah, good stuff. As you can see, he's much more alert today. Now, yesterday, I was a bit worried about him because we came out here and uh, I took him out. And usually, first thing he wants to do is go walk. But he just stood there. He peed and then he wanted to come in. And then I was saying, well, maybe it's his medication. And he just got his medication again today. But this morning, we went out there and we went for a long walk, didn't we, Mr. Max? He's a... <laughs> he said, yes, we did. We went on a very long walk. He said, when I have Raj around, I don't get to go on a long walk because Raj wants to come in so quick. But with just me, I got to go on a long walk and smell all the rocks and lift my leg. He said, it was great. He said, I claimed at least a quarter of the park. <laughs> So, yes, Mr. Max went out and did his thing this morning, and he came back in and had some of his food. And so, yep, he's full of piss and vinegar again. So, Mr. Max is on the mend. Thank goodness. Oh. And this has stopped spreading, and it looks like I'm coming to the end of the um, blisters face. It looks like they're phasing out. So that's good. Today, if I want, I can take two of those pain pills, but I am not going to take it, you know, right away because I don't want too much of that stuff build up in my system. I really don't like to take those things unless I have to. So I'm going to hold off on it. I took a Motrin this morning, and thank God I'm not having any drug interaction with those. But the Motrin did help with the headache. So we'll see how this goes. Flashover. It's all in your head. Okay, so we're going to have to read. <laughs> what is their thing? It's all in your head. The magic of you. Okay. Magic of you oracle. Now, most of the cards I use, if you happen to like them, you can get them through Amazon. Okay. So the other one we're doing today is the L. L. Qui. So let's see what we have today. <clears throat> oh, my ear is not as red today. Man, yesterday it was just so bright red and it's not as swollen. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like there's as many of those things. So it's getting better. Definitely better. Empathy, gentleness, insight, she who nurtures. These are just so soft and, and pretty, this deck. So many of the images in this. An eclat batter, battle, victory, bitterness. Okay. So we've got two sides here. <clears throat> you can either be one that nurtures with empathy, gentleness, insight, or you can be one that regrets by battling victory and bitterness, having bitterness. Okay. So let's see, now I see why we've got flashover. 
it's all in your head. So let's go ahead and read that one. Flash over. Okay. Here it is. <clears throat> flash over it's all in your head you are overthinking things friction and resistance in the circuits of your brain have now confused you into thinking the pain and tension is in the world around you when really it's all in your head okay that's when you get the one that's in bitterness and all this other drama Okay, they want to battle. They want to get victory. They want to, you know, they get bitter because it's something that they have latched on to and just regurgitated and, you know, uh, taken something small and turned it into some big massive thing. Okay, the good news is that at the same time, all it takes is a spark of trust or being someone that has empathy and gentleness and insight, if you stop and look at it for a minute instead of just running railroad, okay, um, to short circuit the resistance built up from the friction with the world. When flashover appears, it's time to close your eyes and take a deep breath and recognize that the only thing standing in your way is you. The light of a busy mind can be beautiful, but in order to reveal its best achievements, times of darkness and rest are essential. After all, you can only see the stars in the darkness. Let go of your worries and fears for a while without reservation and let the world balance itself around you. The girl of flashover is wary but realizes she cannot continue in this way. The growing plump leaves around her cushion and comfort her as she slowly releases her mental grasp and relaxes her mind towards a clear thought and profound insight. Okay. So you can either, you know, Continue to have these things revolving in your head, cranking on them endlessly, making it grow, making it toxic, okay, and then become one who regrets eventually because you've become a bitter person that has to battle everybody else and claim some nonsensical victory. Okay, rather than stopping and gaining some insight. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so this this one has all these little things for you to do. Little. So it says ritual. Release the conflict in a lead pencil on a piece of paper write all the conflicting cluttered thoughts that are flashing around in your head now why does it have to be a lead pencil <laughs> oh my god <laughs> a pen a pencil a crayon what does it matter <laughs> okay <laughs> write as fast and as messily as you need to it doesn't matter if the writing is illegible when you've purged as much as possible, slowly, methodically, oh, I see, erase the writing with a large eraser. That's why. Collect the rubber shavings and toss them down the drain with running water or turn them into the earth. Burn the piece of paper, completely erase stress, fear, and tension, and step the rest of your life with a clear, relaxed mind. Okay, well, you could do the same thing writing with whatever. Okay, take the paper, 
tear it up into little pieces, bury it, get rid of it, or burn it, whichever, you know, and let go of it. But the point is, you've got to let go of it. You can't just write it down, bury it, and then go back to your same thoughts revolving and still keep cranking on the same thing. Okay, you have to be willing to let go of it. Okay, so don't let flashover take over your mind and take something small, irritant, and turn it into something you're going to have to battle with. Okay, because you might find that later down the line you have regrets in your actions. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this here today. Uh, <laughs> better to be a person of insight and just sit with things for a while. Get a different perspective on it. Okay. Some people, you know, something happens and they take it so personally. It had nothing to do with them at all, but they take it personally and they're going to get even. No matter what, I'm going to get even. I'll show you. I'll show them, you know, and they just go on a vitriolic hatred and spin and just craziness. And for what? Really, nothing was directed at them personally. Okay. So again, stop and take a better look at things. You know, if you're a person that something happens and you want to immediately take it personally, you know, as an affront against you, it may not be that at all. So stop and, and take a breath and sit and look at things a little more clearly, okay, before you get caught up in that cycle, okay? So anyway, I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online. Aho.